right now we're at one of the most strategic points in this war the gaza egypt border is right behind me and a lot of questions have been raised about this place and why the idf needs to stay in the philadelphia corridor what is over and under the philadelphia corridor that maintaining idf presence is so crucial we are under the philadelphia corridor this is one of the largest tunnels found in this area over 200 found in the general area of philadelphia nine like this crossing into egypt it is very well built it is tall it is wide i'm five foot five you could fit two of me in here width wise you can easily fit a car in this tunnel cinder blocks all throughout going back to egypt and used by hamas for years to smuggle ammunition rockets and store them right here hoping that the idea of wouldn't strike it because of the proximity to the border and to egypt that tunnel under Rafa is not an isolated incident. Under Rafa, there is a wide complex of tunnels, hundreds of kilometers, that the IDF has been dismantling for three months now. And last week, underneath this kid's room behind me, right down this shaft, 20 meters down, six hostages, one American Israeli, were found dead, and their bodies were rescued from here. A Gazan family was trying to raise their kid in this room, and Hamas was digging a tunnel underneath it keeping hostages in horrific conditions starving not being able to stand up there are candles lit remembering the six hostages found here but this is not an isolated incident this is not the only house in rafa with a tunnel under it this is not the only house in rafa booby trapped awaiting troops to arrive to blow up and collapse on them